Hello, hello, everybody. Um, Happy New Year. <laughs> it's Helen Hartsmith here from the Heart of the Witch's Path YouTube channel. Uh, I, I know we haven't spent some time together in a while, and I'm really sorry. Um, I inadvertently took a couple of weeks off at Christmas and the holidays, and... I needed it. So, uh, Happy New Year to everyone and welcome to the first video of 2019. I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday season um, and a, a very happy and uh, wonderful uh, New Year. Um, like I said, we haven't chatted for a while. I suggest that you go get a cup of tea or a cocoa or a coffee or whatever your whatever your um, beverage of choice is, um, and let's let's have a chat, so, shall we? I have ooh, I have this new tea. It's so good. In my Tinkerbell mug, isn't she adorable? Um, so I have this new tea that I picked up. So let's just start ta our talk with that. My my plan for this video is to kind of catch you up on um, some groovy things that I got for the holiday season and uh, just kind of show share the grooviness that is them kind of a thing. And so this tea I picked up recently. Um, this is, let's see. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay, let's talk about the tea and then I'll talk about the other thing. Um, so this is a turmeric ginger tea and this is by Buddha Teas. This is a USDA organic tea um, and I picked this up at a local health food store. Um, it is delicious. I put a little bit of honey in there and it's so good. These uh, boxes come with 18. There's 18 uh, tea bags in this particular box. They're so cute. There's the the package there. Um, and it's delicious and um, I highly recommend this. Um, this is the first tea that I have tried from that company and I like it and I will probably try others. Um, if you're looking for a price point, I want to say that those are right around $5 a box. I mean, we talk prices around here just so you know things. Um, and it's an exact, it, on the box it says that it's an exotic blend of Ayurvedic spices for optimum wellness. Hello, let's have another sip, shall we? I need some optimum wellness, that's for darn sure. Holy camoly. So, before I get to talking about anything else and before I forget, I have to tell you, do you notice anything different with the picture? Ooh, I'm voguing. I made a little investment uh, for the channel and I picked myself up a camcorder that I'm using. So I'm using it for the first time. I've played around and made some stupid little videos recording the roomie doing stuff and what have you. Um, but this is the inaugural flight, the inaugural um, recording of a video here for the channel. It's a little Canon. Um, it's so small. Like, like obviously I can't show it to you because we're recording on it but it's just a little itty bitty guy that's probably about so long and it's um it's really cool so um I'm hoping that you know everything works well um we had to I had to play around a little bit with some setup and and things like that I, so I had to put things in a different place and things of that nature so hopefully this uh works out so it's got a nice uh view screen that's touch screen so I can because we're you know we're still a one one dog, one pony, just me channel here. So I need to be able to see what I'm doing and things like that. So I've got the little, I've got the little view screen out there and such. So um, let me know how you, um, how you think the picture's going and bear with me as I figure out like, where I might need to hold things, and boy, that's going to be put to the test in this video today, isn't it? Um, so yeah, so 
like I said, the bulk of this video is going to be sharing some really cool witchy type stuff that I received for the holiday. And um, I have to say that by no means is this um, me bragging about what I have. Um, I just happened to get some really cool stuff that I thought I would share with you guys in case you're wondering about this product or that or seen this book or that um, and, and stuff. This isn't going to be a full review about anything. It's just kind of... Um, it's just kind of some stuff that's came into my life recently that I'm kind of, you know, getting ready to feel out totally. So, um, let's start with books because I love books. Well, you know what? Actually, what I want to do is I want to start out with these earrings first because I'm fearful that I'm going to forget them. So, uh, the Rumi, let's see, let's see if I can hold it. The Rumi got me these adorable earrings. Let's see. I hope that that is focusing. I feel like I just can't even hold it properly. And Oh, there we go. It's kind of in the center. Hey, hey. So it's kind of a little mandala shape and it's um it's sterling silver and um the Rumi knows me pretty well. She knows the things that I like. So um I have not really been able to wear earrings a lot lately. Um my ears just kind of like freak out and stuff. Um but I actually wore these for like 3 days. And so that was three days continuously, so that's a big deal. Um, and I don't think it's because I need to wear just silver. Um, I've been trying to, to broach the wearing of earrings again, and I've been able to do it um, a little bit more lately. Um, so it's not, it's not a, I have to wear sterling silver because that's predominantly what I wear anyhow. So maybe my Maybe my sensitive earlobes are just stopping to be sensitive and they're just going to work with me now again. I don't know. We'll see. So the earrings, they're so cute. I love them so much. Um, okay, now let's talk about books. So um, I think I'll start with um, a few books that I actually purchased for myself. I've seen lots of folks talking about this uh, relatively new series from Llewellyn. They're calling it the Tool series. And there's seven books in the series. And I've recently picked up three of the seven. Um, so we have The Witch's Cauldron by Laura Tempest Zakroff. And I believe that this is a revised cover because the second book that I have, The Witch's Book of Shadows, this is by Jason Mankey. This, I believe, is the original um, style of book covers that they all had. Um, but now they're kind of more like this. And this is The Witch's Altar. And this is by Jason Mankey and Laura Tempest Zakroff. Um, they do not do all of the books. I think these are all that they do from the series. Now, so I said there were seven. So there's Altar, Book of Shadows, Cauldron. There's The Witch's Mirror. There's The Witch's Broom. The... Oh, gosh. Mirror, Broom, Wand. The Witch's Wand. Um, what's the last one? I don't remember what it is off the top of my head. Um, these are these are cute little books. I I'm a sucker for a cute book, and it looks like now I haven't started reading any of these. I've just kind of looked through them. So what it looks like is these books have some history. They have some spell work. They have um, let's see, ooh, stirring the cauldron, a heathen's cauldron. Um, they're talking so I'm I'm actually looking through the witch's cauldron right here so there's a section called Thor and the cauldron of Hymir um so there's looks like there's some mythology in here um there's some drawings and pictures and things like that so um these books they run right around $15.99 each 
and I think they're cute. Um, I like I like how travelable they are. So if you're going to take a trip, this is a great book that you can like throw in your bag and take with you. Um, I'm looking to see this particular book is about 260 pages so you know it's a good thickness and such but I like how compact it is and how like I said how travelable it is and I like that it's a series I think that's cool and I like that there's seven and so um the my coven we actually had our uh annual meeting recently and we do study together throughout the year and so we decided to put these on our list of books to consider when it's time to pick a new book so i will put a link in the description box below uh there is a page on the llewellyn site where it lists all seven of them all in, and i think you might be able to order from there that. Um, but of course, uh, if you can go to your local store and, and purchase shop locally kind of a thing. Um, so I'm kind of I'm kind of excited to get into those books and see um, exactly what they are and such. So look for some reviews. If you want a review sooner rather than later, I want to say that Matt Oren um, has done I, it seems like I've seen a couple of reviews of these books. I don't know if he's done all of them. And you can find him over at Pathio... Uh, Pathio... Ugh, my mouth doesn't want to work. Pathio's Pagan. I'll see if I can find a link to his blog. I'm not sure. I can't promise anything. If I find it, it'll be in the description box, okay? Um, let's see. What else do we have here? Oh... Yes, this is a book. This is another book that I purchased for myself because I'm worth it, I guess. <laughs> um, this is another book that I saw and I was totally intrigued by the title. It is something that I've never seen covered in uh, a book before. Um, and if I'm wrong in this, then please let me know because this it's definitely something that, you know, I, th I think this is an, an important topic. So this book is, let me see if I can hold this. My, I'm just trying to figure out how to hold things. This is crazy. So this is The Witch's Book of Self-Care, Magical Ways to Pamper, Soothe, and Care for Your Body and Spirit. And this is by Erin Murphy Hiscock. And um, it's another one of those cute little books that has the foil that I, I did a review on, on um, what is it, The Good Witch's Guide or something like that. And uh, th these are cute little books. And so I saw this and I didn't buy it right away because I didn't know if I'd get it as a Yule gift. And so I waited and I, I'm pretty sure I purchased it after Yule. Um, this looks like a fun book. It's going to be a quick read because it's about 220-ish pages, but there is some great things in here like spell work. Um, there are some recipes on some HBC products that you can make for yourself. Um, I'm looking here at making a magical water bottle. So that sounds interesting. There's bath stuff. Oh, there's even um, there's even food recipes. There's a gazpacho recipe here. That's cool. Leek and potato soup. Oh, I love leek and potato soup. Might have to check that out. Um, so yeah, there's there's some recipes in here. That's really cool. Um, shower scrub bars, a recipe. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna definitely take a look at this, and um, I will give you a full review of this. You know, I think that self-care is definitely something that we don't do enough for ourselves. And I love the fact that there that this book is uh, taken from a, a pagan or a witchy perspective. I, I can't wait to get into it. So I'm kind of excited. Um, this one retails for... Where did it go? $16.99. I'll put a link to all these. There will be some kind of a link for all of these books and products if I can find them in the description box. So fear not, my friends. Um, okay, so in my coven, um, we are getting to be... Um, 
there's quite a few of us. And so we made the choice a couple of years ago that instead of buying gifts for everyone, we would draw names and then we only have to buy one gift. And so that's worked out very well for us. And my Michelle, hi honey, she had my name this year and she done good guys, real good. Um, so, um, and they're all kind of, they all kind of have a witchy spin to them. So I'm going to share with you all of them. The one that I'm pretty excited about is this book, The Blessing Chord by Adam Sartwell. Um, Adam is one of the founders of the Temple of Witchcraft and he has a couple of books out. He has this book and he has a book on Reiki because he is a Reiki master. So this Blessing Chord is actually, you can see a depiction of the Blessing Chord on the front of the book here. Um, and so this is a book that goes through the making of this because you can kind of see um, like the detail that is meant for the blessing cord. And since I haven't read the book yet, I, uh, I'm not entirely sure what its use is, um, but it on the back of the book, it talks about work with blessings from the most um, ephemeral sphere of Kether down to the manifestation of most grounded Malkuth. So this is deeply rooted in Kabbalic teachings then. If we're dealing with Kether, which is the top of the tree, and Malkuth is the bottom of the tree, um, there's definitely some heavy uh, tree of life influences in this book. So that's exciting. Uh, journey through cycles of 10 blessings, each from air, fire, water, and earth. And again, that's totally tree of life. Um, there are 10 spheres in the tree and they all do correspond with a um, a, an element. So that's cool. Perform your own meditations, followed by personal contemplation to learn what each blessing holds for you and to attune yourself to it. Can't wait. I can't wait. I, I can't read fast enough. <laughs> that's the stinky part. Um, so this is by Copper Cauldron Publishing, which of course is the company that Christopher and Steve and Adam uh, started through the temple. Um, so you can um, purchase this through um, their website. And again, I'll put a link. It looks like we have a $14.95 uh, price tag on that, which is really good. And it's about 180 pages. So that's really cool. Um, so that'll take you through the creation of your blessing cord. I know, I know enough. I know that much. So, whew, I've been talking. I need some lubrication in my throat. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. So, last two books. Because, I saved, I saved these for last because, uh, so the roomie wanted to get, I think it's, I think this is an Icelandic tradition. Um, in Iceland, it's tradition on Christmas Eve to, uh, to gift folks with a book and chocolate. And then you have something that you can uh, uh, use your time with, either that evening or uh, during Christmas Day and things like that. So the roomie came across that tradition somewhere and she dug it big time and so she's like hey do you want to exchange books I said hey yes <laughs> and so we talked to our other friend Lee about it and Lee was totally down with it too sorry about that <laughs> there's a little bit of nuclear fallout happening um you know things happen <laughs> I just don't even have words. Anyhow, um, we talked to our friend Lee about uh, doing this little book exchange with us. She was totally down with it too. And so we've started a new tradition and I'm pretty excited about it. So um, the book that I got from the roomie, and I totally knew about it because I totally wanted it and she totally said, I'll buy it for you. And I totally said, yes. So, <laughs> so that book is Amy Blackthorne's Botanical Magic book. I saw some folks talking about this either on Facebook or Instagram, and I was instantly intrigued and said, I have to 
have this. And so this is the Green Witch's Guide to Essential Oils for Spellcraft, Ritual, and Healing. Um, now, I started reading this, and I don't... I think... So the, it's heavily essential oil information but I think that there there's herbal lore too so I think that there's gonna be some information in here about like that where you could use actual plant matter too um so I'm pretty geeked about this this book retails for $22.95 and it's a it's a bigger book um do, 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 do. it's about 300 pages so it's a it's a good size mamma jamma um and so I'm kind of geeked about it and one thing that I'm not sure about is, um, I don't know if this is Amy's first book, um, or not. Um, it looks like she's appeared on some programs. Oh, and she has a company, Blackthorn Hoodoo Blends, creates tea based on old hoodoo formulas. She lives in Delaware, and you can visit her site at amyblackthorn.com. All right, so I will have to check that out. I, so I don't know if this is her first book, but I'm pretty excited to read this and see what she got to say. You know what I'm saying? Yay! And then, so finally, the last book, this is the one from Leanne. Um, this is Sigil Witchery by Laura Tempest Zakroff. Um, are you sensing a theme in my books this year? I think I have everything that she's written at this point in book form. Um, I'm not sure. Um, this book I have seen in stores for quite a few months and I'm super geeked and super intrigued by it. And so I know that Laura is an artist and so I know she has a natural ability for drawing that I unfortunately do not have. Um, however, I'm hoping that this is going to allow for some practicing of creating your own sigils. And I do see, because uh, again, I haven't started writing this or, or reading this, sorry. Um, where did that go? I was flipping through here and there were some sigils on pages and it almost looked as if there was enough room on the page where you could like try practicing. Uh, well, maybe not. So there's, look at how gorgeous these are. Let me, let me do one page at a time as I figure out my angle. Yep, there's that one. And that is the inverted power sigil right here. Oh no, I guess I'm I'm on the wrong page. Hold on. Upright power sigil. Sorry, I can't read. And then this is the other one. This is the first one. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I'm failing miserably at this. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm really excited um, to get into this one. I I think I've I've definitely talked about on the channel that I will use the witch's wheel to create my own sigils, and I love doing that. That is really cool. And I use bind runes, but I'm totally open to what other kind of sigil work there is out there. I see different things on Pinterest and things like that. So I'm really hoping that this book um, gets into um, how she establishes symbols and things like that. She's, and as I said, she's an artist. She's an amazing artist. So totally check her stuff out. Um, Laura Tempest Zakroff, she's been to Convocation, I think the last couple of years. I'm hoping that she comes back this year because then maybe I'll have her sign it because I'm a nerd. <laughs> Um, so anyhow, those are the books. Um, before I get into the other things, because I just remembered this, I have to tell y'all a little story. So I get to my family's uh, Christmas celebration because I'm the only one in my family that celebrates Yule. Um, so I get to my family's Christmas celebration and I have a cousin who's older than I am. He's not quite 10 years, but so he's maybe about eight years older than I am. I walk in the house and he says, is that Helen? Is Helen here? And they all know that I am a witch and that I'm into, you know, that, you know, witchy stuff and, and I'm into crystals and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So he comes running out to the kitchen where I'm at, still in my coat and unpacking my bag and such. And he says, you got to come out to my car with me. And I'm like, okay. And so he's like, he's like, 
I was at a store today, I think it was like that day, and he says, I saw something, and I automatically thought of you, and I had to buy it for you. And I'm like, oh, that's super sweet. And so he ended up going out and getting it and bringing it in, and he bought, and he, so he says, no, I'm, I'm not joking, or no, how did he say that? Now, I'm serious or something like that because a lot of times he picks on me, which is no big deal. Now, I'm serious. I saw this and I had to get it for you. And he was like super excited about it. It was a Him Himalayan salt lamp. And I was so grateful. Uh, we have one here at the house and the roomie and I have talked about getting another one um, because of the health benefits and stuff like that. I was so completely touched that he thought about me and bought it and brought it to me. Um, so thank you, Jerry. It's a lovely gift. And I immediately brought it home and set it up and plugged it in, found a spot for it and everything else. And it's awesome. So I'm so, I'm so geeked about it. So yay. Um, okay, so the next thing on the next thing I want to share is this awesome company called Four Oceans. Um, if you have Instagram, if you have um, Facebook, you might have seen this stuff advertised on your feed. What they do is this company actually recycles and pulls plastic out of the ocean and they take that plastic and a pound of plastic goes into each one of these they make bracelets so they make bracelets like this I hope I think that's in focus so these are like some nice clear beads and um, it's on like a, a pink pinky coral type um, cord and um, and it it has a uh, where you can tighten it type thing and so um they're 20 bucks a bracelet and the normal Rumi, what's the normal color i think there's a blue one that's kind of the normal but they have like the monthly right so a blue cord is kind of like their standard cord color and then each month they do like a special one um, and this money kind of goes into conservation and things like that so the this pinky coral color is actually for um um, coral reefs and so it's my understanding that they donate money towards saving you know that particular thing I want to say that they've done a, like a polar bear and they've done um turtles like sea turtles and stuff like that so this company is super awesome and this is kind of like the thank you card that um I'm still trying to figure out how to hold things guys I'm so sorry I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with this but this card comes with it, it you also get like a little um sticker to put like on your window on your vehicle and stuff like that so this is from 4ocean at 4ocean.com I highly recommend this this is an amazing thing that they're doing not only are they cleaning our oceans and our coastlines but they're creating jobs while doing it because they're according to the, the the back of this card they have boats that run full-time captains and crews and they're cleaning the ocean and coastlines 24 hours a day seven days a week that's amazing they're also creating education and awareness and um, they're looking for new global economic opportunities um, I think that this company is like the bomb and for 20 bucks I mean I've spent almost $30 for a bracelet from Alex and Ani, which is another good company. Um, and I, and I think they do a lot of charity work and stuff like that too. But you know, we see people with stacks of bracelets of Alex and Ani. Let's see stacks of bracelets of four oceans and let's clean up our oceans. Yeah. I feel like a environmental warrior right now. Woo. Um, the next thing, um, that Michelle got me is this box of loveliness. Um, she, these are all like based on chakra stuff. So, um, I'm going to kind of like 
go through this because we're at almost a half an hour and I want to, I'm almost done. Um, but so we've got this little container that had their chips. Um, and at first I thought they would have holes in them to make into jewelry, but they don't. Um, they, there's little flip ups here and there's, there's chips in there. So these are like perfect small things to use for crystal grid work. Um, and things like that. I, unfortunately, I don't know where she got this. I know she got all of this together. Um, maybe I can have her put a link or something if somebody's interested, but I, she probably found it on Amazon, it seems like. So it also came with a baggie, um, with, uh, chakra stones. These are kind of, most of them are cube shaped chakra stones. Um, we also got an entire set of these disc size, um, stones that have the chakra symbols on them. So that's really cool. So you can use that to put right on to, do I, yeah, oh, I even have the right, I got the right one putting on the right, yeah. Um, so if you're doing meditation work, you can use that for that. Um, and finally, um, we had been talking about platonic solids in our witchcraft two class that we are teaching. And so she got me an entire set of platonic solid, uh, shapes that are made from stones. So we have a cube, we have the pyramid, we have, I'm not, I'm not the Merkaba, um, a sphere, um, and things like that. So I was like pretty geeked about all that. And I want, I want to look into how to use that for crystal grid work as well, because that's kind of intriguing to me. And of course, you know, it's all about sacred shapes and stuff like that. If you want to know more about platonic solids, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, you can do a Google search. Super cool. Um, and if you're interested in me doing a video about platonic solids, I think there are people out there that have done better ones. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, there's that. Now, the last thing, and I hope I'm not going through this too quickly, but I don't want to have y'all, I know I said get a drink, but that doesn't mean that, you know, you literally wanted to get a drink and hang out for an hour. So I'm trying to be quick here. So the roomie, she listens to me. Uh, this is on my list. I've wanted one of these stone rollers for a while now and she got it. And this is made with rose quartz. And I know a lot of people um, that are using these will keep them in the refrigerator. I haven't found that need yet, uh, but I might. So who knows? Um, but it's re it's really cool. So you, you use it, like I don't want to use it because I've got makeup and stuff on right now, but you run it over your eyes like when you wake up in the morning. And I want to say that there are some folks that might be doing like an upward motion like this with them too. And because it's a stone, um, it's naturally cool upon first contact. And then if you keep it in... <clears throat> If you keep it in the refrigerator, obviously it's going to stay that much colder. So um, I'm loving this and I'm loving playing with it. And I know that these are available on Amazon. Um, a lot of folks get the jade ones. And I want to say that they may be available in some other um, stones. Like I said, I will put a link in the description box below so you can go check it out for yourself. So, okay. I'm going to stop talking now because I've talked for a long time. Um, I, again, not bragging about the things that I got or bought or what have you. Um, just thought I'd share some fun stuff that I got um, over this holiday season and some things that I'm trying and all that kind of stuff. So if you're wondering about something and or maybe never heard of something, introduce you. I introduced you maybe I don't know um, if you found this video interesting give it a thumbs up if you learned something if you liked it what have you I don't do a lot of haul videos just because I don't want it to seem like I'm bragging so yeah it doesn't always happen um, but this I thought there was some cool stuff um, stuff that I'm looking forward to and things like that so um, if you haven't done so already subscribe to the channel I mean why not? So, um, and then, um, description below or in the comments below, 
What did you get for Yule? Is there something that you're really excited about using or um, or reading or trying or what have you? Um, were one of these products something that appealed to you? I would like to know. Um, you can always, of course, reach me at heartofthewitchespath at yahoo.com. Uh, there will be links in the description box for all the social media yumminess. Um, so yeah, it's the new year. We're trying to... Um, put ourselves out there um, and, and get it done. So um, I hope that y'all have a lovely day and um, thanks for walking the path for a little while with me. Until next time, blessed be.